friends, this is Shoham Behra, Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to tell you about a deadly eye disease that can cause you blindness and that is macular dystrophy. So what is macular dystrophy? Macular dystrophy is a relatively a rare condition linked to inherited genetic mutation. Macular dystrophy causes dis deterioration of the most sensitive part of the central retina. We call it macula, which has the highest concentration of light sensitive cells photoreceptors. As the name implies, the macula of the retina is affected in macular dystrophy. The macula is the central area of the retina that contains photoreceptors responsible for central vision and color perception. When the macula is damaged or scarred due to macular dystrophy, your central vision is affected and this can lead to blindness in some cases. What causes macular dystrophy? Macular dystrophy differ from a far more common eye disease known as macular degeneration, often caused by age-related macular degeneration of the retina and the macula. While aging or risk factors such as smoking cause common forms of macular degeneration, macular dystrophy is linked to a genetic mutation that for no apparent reason trigger degradation of retinal cells, some forms of macular dystrophy appears in childhood and other forms appears in adulthood. However, it sometimes is difficult to distinguish common macular degeneration from inherited macular dystrophy because of the similarity of these symptoms, including decreased visual acuity and loss of central vision. One of the most common forms of macular dystrophy is Targard's disease, which accounts for about 7% of all macular dystrophy cases and commonly occur in childhood. How macular dystrophy is diagnosed? Symptoms of macular dystrophy can include decreased visual acuity with no obvious cause such as refractive errors or cataract. If your eye specialist suspects you have macular dystrophy, he or she may order special eye tests that are not part of routine eye examination for a definitive diagnosis. For example, a test called frozen fundus frozen angiography or FFA can detect retinal damage from macular dystrophy. A test using optical coherence tomography or OCT also can be performed to analyze eye disease for possible presence of a yellow brown pigment lipofixion found in the retinal pigment epithelium. Lipofixion is a waste material slugged from slugged off from deteriorating the eye tissues. Still another option is an electromagnetic ERG test that involves placing an electrode on your eye outer clear surface cornea to measure how well photoreceptor in your retina responds to light. I am going to discuss about type of macular dystrophy. Many forms of macular dystrophy have been identified include first stargards. The most common type of macular dystrophy which usually occurs in childhood are different form of stargards called fundus flabimaculatis. Typically is found in adults. Stargards is characterized by formation of pigment waste cell in the retina. Second, weakly from macular dystrophy or we call it BTM which generally is, is discovered first with the presence of a large yellow oval lesion weakly form in an egg yolk shape that shows up in the center of the macula. Many genetic mutations of this form of macular dystrophy have been identified including this disease which affects children and young people. A different version of the disease also can appear in adult with macular lesions that, that vary in size and shapes. And the last the uh, part of this uh, dystrophy, North Carolina macular dystrophy, which is an extremely rare, rare form of the eye disease identified by a very specific genetic maker. While named for North Carolina families member who have been 
we have this inherited form of macular dystrophy. The disease has been found in other local location worldwide. Other type of macular dystrophy can cause specific degenerations of light sensitivity cells known as cones. The cones are responsible color vision, are more common concentrated in the macular area in the retina. While not technically macular dystrophy, retinitis pigmentosa is an inherited photoreceptor dystrophy that destroys light sensitive cell in the eye. So now, now the crucial part of this uh, video, the treatment. Treatment of macular dystrophy, if you have a macular dystrophy, you will need to visit a retina specialist who will help you determine the exact nature of this disease. For example, some type are progressive and some are not. Genetic analysis and counseling may be needed to help you determine the type of macular dystrophy you have and whether the eye condition is likely to be passed on to your children and descendants. Also, you can make better decision about family planning if you have an idea of the degree of vision loss associated with your type of macular dystrophy. At this time, there is no proven treatment for macular dystrophy. However, gene therapy has shown promise for treating this and other type of genetic disease. For example, Okata Therapeutics has presented results of several prospective trials that evaluates the use of retinal pigment epithelium RP cell derived from a human embryonic stem cell for the treatment of Stargardt disease. So far, 31 patients have been treated, all of whom experience improved or stable. So friends, this is all about macular dystrophy. If you have this type of disease or your family member of this type of disease please go for a regular eye checkup so friends this is all about macular dystrophy please stay safe stay healthy bye